Oh my God, I love him. It's Peter Cox. So nice to see you. How <laughs> are you? I'm good, thanks very much. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant that you've come out to do a little interview with us. Thank you so much. Of course. Huge crowds around the corner waiting to see you. That's why I've snuck around the corner here. Yeah. But how are you? How was your flight? It was all right, yeah. It was comparatively smooth. I've just air travel is a pain in the... I think, but there you are. Isn't he lovely? Isn't he lovely? So, how's Scotland? And welcome to Rewind Scotland. Thank you very much. Well, let's not talk about the obvious. Keep our fingers crossed. So far, so good. It was sunny earlier. Yeah, well, listen, we'll take dry. We'll take dry. <laughs> After last weekend. Uh, yeah, that was, well, and the Scots are used to it, of course, and hardy folk, but yeah, obviously, much nicer when it's dry. Tell me, what's so special about Rewind? Uh, well, it's a lot of like-minded people um, coming to share uh, music that they remember, and uh, it's it's always such a beautifully organised event, and a very, hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed, a very receptive crowd having a great time. So, yeah, I mean, what's not to like, really? Fantastic interviewers. Yes, of course, absolutely. <laughs> um, okay, I've got a few little questions for okay. you. Okay. If you were in the audience today, who would you be most excited about seeing? Um, well, I've seen most of these artists many times, but I get the gist of your question. Let's see. I mean, I, I, Tony puts on a very good show. That, you know, he's gigging all the time. His band are sharp as a tack. So that's always a very good show. Um, and uh, I believe Andy Bell is headlining, yeah. is he not? Yeah. Yeah, that was last and night. I see last night yeah. Oh, that was yeah. last night, was it? Okay, you've well, got yeah. Squeeze tonight, and you've got Midge. Squeeze, no, I'm interested to see Squeeze. Yeah, it's fantastic songs. Um, I've seen Midge's show many times. Midge, uh, Midge did gem. say that you were the one he would like to see. That, well, that's very kind of him. Um, yeah, that's huge respect for Midge. I think lots of people may not be aware of what a storied and colourful career he's had and all the different artists he's played with well it was interesting actually because i asked him who would you most duet, like to duet with right. and he said peter cox but then he goes but his voice is too good oh whatever <laughs> well thank you mitch that's very kind the check's in the mail as the old gag goes <laughs> pete are you wearing anything lucky today um I, I don't think i do anything like that i mean obviously i i have a fairly well-known gig uniform of a white shirt for the black. well it's it's easier when <laughs> when you're flying to travel light i have learned <laughs> so yeah I've, I've bought as little as i could possibly get away with so no nothing nothing that's particularly lucky god i hope i haven't said the wrong thing <laughs> now <laughs> have you requested anything for your dressing room no never do that i mean honestly because um having been supplied with terrible wine both white and red <laughs> over the years We've altered our dressing room rider to ask for a bottle of champagne on the basis that if it has champagne on the label, hopefully the contents will be drinkable. <laughs> but sadly, that has still not managed to solve that particular problem. What about so. the sweets from the bar? I know you're not early into sweets, are you? But have you had any of those? Haven't they got Parma Violets and a few other little no, that's, retro that's, sweets? That, those are off the radar for me, really. <laughs> what were you listening to on the way in? I know you've got a taxi in. What were you listening to in the taxi? Did they have the radio on? Uh, we were organising our evening meal, actually. Oh, nice. So I was listening to the uh, to the call waiting sign at the restaurant that I was <laughs> trying to put the. Re now that's not really the question you're asking me, is it? Who would I be listening to? I don't know. I don't. I, I find I don't really listen to that much music outside of work, honestly. I don't know if he's going to agree to the next one because I know you might not have warmed up, but you could just do a, like a little bit for me because you know it will make me go all queasy and everything. Could you please? <laughs> Please sing the first line of the song that you think out of your set will get the biggest reaction from the crowd today. I don't need to fall at your feet. There you go. I love you. <laughs> Who have you enjoyed chatting to most backstage so far? Well, you, of course, Helen. Who else could it be? I didn't pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> Who else have you chatted to? Uh, nobody. Uh, no, you can't, you can't say that. You can't say that. Pete, tell us something we don't know about you. Yeah, I get asked this question a lot, and I wish I had a good answer. Um, no, I'm sorry, you'll have to edit that bit out. Oh, is it, you think I know everything about you? You know everything interesting about <laughs> me, <laughs> of which there is little. Are you shooting straight off after the gig, or are you going to stay around and watch a few people? Uh, honestly, I'm going to be leaving after the you our set, because we want to get back to Edinburgh in time to have an edible meal which is 
Not that easy to come by when you're on the road. And then heading back to London. Uh, tomorrow, yeah. yeah. Okay. Peter, as always, you know I love you to bits. Thank you so much for chatting it's to us. It's a pleasure, Helen, absolutely.